flats after the draw at Newcastle important to bounce back today and we got the perfect result. Yeah, definitely. I think we've, uh, we, after the draw last week, we definitely needed to come out here and, and get a win just to pick the club up in general um, after a few few draws and, and a loss. So I think we, we, we did we did what we needed to do, but there's definitely more out there to be to be sought after. Are the boys a little bit frustrated? They haven't picked up the full maximum tonight then? Uh, I don't know. I think Bath are a very good side and they, they, they especially in that second half, they, they put a few changes on and they, they seemed like they were a different team and they, they really did come at us. I think it was we showed a great endeavour towards the end just to, to hold them out and then uh, there probably were a few chances that we, we, we left out there, but I think on the whole, considering how attritional the game was, it was it was a win at the end of the day, which is what we need. It's a weird one at Sunday Park. When you play into the wind, you seem to play player rugby you know, as teams. Is that right? Yeah, it is because the wind can be so strong here. It's it's almost like you've got you can't you can kick, but like you've got nothing to lose. Um, so you just keep the ball, you run hard, and Bath did the same in the second half. And maybe I think it's, it's something that we could we could adapt to, but. It's, uh, it's definitely yeah, it's a bit of a trend. As someone who was part of the winning side last year, there's a real hunger amongst you as a group to, to go back to back in this competition. Definitely. I think there's the same throughout the club in any competition. There's always hunger just to win. And um, just win week on week on week. Not think about um, the process is too far down the line, just the next one. And um, yeah, we've got one today, which is, which is good. And we're seeing the strength of the Chiefs squad, aren't we? Yeah, everyone's being utilised at the moment in whatever competition. but. The bandwagon seems to keep rolling nicely. Yeah, there's a definitely we have a lot, a lot of players uh, jumping at the bit who uh, maybe haven't got as much uh, game time, and that just shows the strength and depth of our squad. So it's, it, it's a, it is a good thing. It's, it's, it's um, make sure everyone's pushing each other in this competition, in the Premiership, in Europe. Everyone's really, really. They have to go for it, otherwise they'll, they'll lose their place. And as someone who's like, as you say, chomping at the bit yeah. to get out there, it's not a stage for you to go out and, and show the coaches what you can do, what you're all about still. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 pretty much it. You hit the nail on the head. Same with the A League. Any any opportunity you get, you have to you have to seize it with both both hands, considering how competitive this environment is. And Harlequins here next week, another yeah. huge occasion. Yeah, definitely. They they. I don't know what the team was like today, but last week they went pretty strong. So. Um, we we enjoy that as a group of players. Like we don't want to we don't want to just come here and roll teams over. We want to we want to we want a, a, a real stiff challenge, and I hopefully Harlequins can offer that. You know from past experience, well, they'll be tough though, won't yeah. they? They offer a genuine all-round threat. Yeah, they're quite unpredictable, and they, but they've got a lot of talented talented guys. So it's it's definitely one of those teams that you have to be on your guard and and quell any momentum that they get during the game. And a try for you tonight. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Want to celebrate? That's, that's, yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just generally, though, the team, especially the Fords, have created a great platform for you. But you as backs, you have to finish them, and yeah, you were pretty ruthless there at times today. Yeah, there's we were at times, but then again, there's still there is still more out there for us. Um, I think we'll just try and keep improving and take every opportunity we can. I think the more we play together, the more we'll we'll gel and hopefully become more ruthless. Next week. Ricky's talked about that consistency of you boys playing more and more together. We're starting to see that over the last couple of weeks that you've, you've had a lot of training time together. Yeah. You've played in two games. Hopefully next week will be even better. Hopefully, yeah. It's, it, I think the good good thing about this this club is that everyone's pretty much on the same page, so it's 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 not, not too much of a hindrance when other people step in and, and step out and whatnot. But obviously having time together as a group of players definitely definitely helps. So hopefully we'll just uh, improve again next week. Was that something you found when you first moved here? That, like you say, everyone is yeah I, equal. I think I've, yeah, that's definitely definitely a positive thing of a club. Everyone's equal. Everyone, um, everyone's everyone's pretty clued in. Um, I think it's a, it's a testament to how we train. So I, as I said, it's not not too much of a hindrance when people swap in and out.